Ini. So that as I moved towards the podium, it dawned on me that a moment of reckoning had arrived for me. The challenges that go with stepping forward, coming out of the shadows to accept this prize, had appeared insurmountable for so long. But now I realized that the many allies who worked with me over the years at the international level, and more importantly, at the community level, people who took far greater risks than I are at this moment stepping out into the spotlight to accept the challenge to carry out this struggle. Our struggle to defend the environment is not about trees, per se. It is a more divine calling to defend our culture, our identity, our very lives. We cannot stand by and allow multinational companies to destroy our forests. Because when they do, when they tear down the trees and strip the land, they tear down our people and strip away their lives. We have to fight for what should be our basic human rights, clean air, safe drinking water, and the right to conduct our traditional and cultural practices under the undisturbed canopy of our forests. This prize comes at a critical time in Liberia. Having successfully worked to halt illegal logging, our challenge now is to get the new government to make better choices, to make new laws that protect the land and the people, and to hear the voices of the people who have lost so much. We've all lost so much. It is hard to even measure. The shadows of powerful, elusive, and negative forces, including multinational business interests, darken our horizon and threaten our reform process. But shadows, they will remain. We know the strength of the human spirit. We know we have to speak up. No more will we and our new partners, and no longer just allies, allow business as usual to flourish in our sacred forest. No more business as usual. Our heartfelt thanks go to the Goldman family for this recognition. Words are not adequate to express the gratitude I feel tonight. I had actually pledged that this was going to be my last comment on this podium, the expression of gratitude. But I've just realized that I won't be doing justice to the many young people in this hall tonight who, by their presence, have come to show solidarity with our cause. To all of you young people in the hall tonight, I say to you, never shy away from the good fight. There is no better fight than to fight for the environment. Thank you.